Hello, I'm Clement Weinberger and I'm a freelancer for Inago. And today I'll give you a few tips on how to respond to journal reviewers and editors once they've made a decision on your submitted manuscript. I guess you, you've been checking your email, logging into the journal website every day to follow its status. And maybe six to eight weeks after submission, you receive the decision from the editor. As you know, manuscripts are rarely accepted with no changes. And outright rejection is more likely than outright acceptance. But unless there are serious flaws in the study design, in the data analysis, interpretation of results, or the writing itself, the most common reason for rejection is that the article was judged either not of interest to the readership or not within the scope of the editorial policies. That leaves acceptance, following revision, and correction of any errors. So basically, the journal wants to publish your article, but not without some changes. So what are the next steps? Um, I would forward the editor's decision to all the co-authors, along with a cover note, attach the decision letter, the reviewer's comments, and the manuscript draft. And your cover note might say something like, hey, great news, the article has been accepted, pending some revisions. I'll send you a draft and my point-by-point -point responses um, for you to review when I finish them and you ought to include the dates on which they can expect your draft and a date for their expected replies. Almost every time I found that editors and reviewers want to help you publish the best research paper possible. Even when the paper was rejected or if it is rejected, their comments um, on how the manuscript can be improved are usually very helpful. And um, even if you're submitting to another journal, um, the paper will be better. So here's how I recommend getting started. If your paper was accepted with major revisions, um, it will need a lot of work in one area or another. Maybe additional data are needed or expansion of some description of the methods or results. And if it was accepted with minor revisions, the paper is generally good except for a few minor points and if you change those, it's likely to be published uh, rather quickly. So go ahead, read the comments and suggestions carefully several times before beginning to write. This avoids misinterpretation and mistaken responses. I've often uh, found that the reviewer didn't say exactly what on first reading I thought they said. So do the easy stuff grammar, spelling, references, and simple edits first, and then move on to the more complex revisions. Do the revisions and make the changes one by one. After making each change then, write what you've done in your reply letter under the comment that the reviewer made. You don't need to repeat the text of the revisions in the response letter. Just briefly say what you changed and why it answers the question or comment. Give the lines, paragraph, and page where the revision can be found. The point-by-point -point response letter is important because it's your chance to explain how you've incorporated the editor's and reviewer's comments. It doesn't mean that you need to repeat them in the letter. Don't forget to thank those involved for their time, careful review, and constructive comments. But you only need to do that once. You don't need to thank them for each response, you might say, yes, we agree with your response, or no, we don't, and uh, here's the reason why. So that's the other point. Sometimes you'll get a comment, a re request that seems unreasonable or is just, not, is just wrong. In that case, make sure that you're in the right. If you decide that your description or explanation did not clearly convey what you wanted to say, just reword the text of the manuscript to improve its clarity and explain in the letter what you did and why you did what you did. Again, you don't need to include the text of the revision in the reply letter. Now, if the reviewer was actually wrong in his interpretation or in his request, be polite and thorough in explaining why you disagree, and if necessary, to be sure that a reader would not make the same mistake, revise the text slightly to make it more clear. 
Sometimes adding a reference in the manuscript is helpful. The final decision to accept will most likely be made by the editor who is handling the manuscript. Only rarely have manuscripts that I've resubmitted gone back to the original reviewers. Remember, the editor has to know what you've done to the paper, but most important is the way in which your responses to the peer review comments have been incorporated in the revised manuscript. So when you are done, wait a day before submitting. Then review the comments to make sure you address them all, check the manuscript for consistency, and if everything still looks good, then get any co-author approvals you need and resubmit. And good luck. This time, you'll have your acceptance. Talk to you next time.